What's going on, everybody? What's going on? We back in the kitchen today. Today, what did we get in the mail? Today, we got Tyson Beck, 1975 George Brett card number 55. One of my favorite cards in the set this this so far. One of my favorites. Definitely one of my favorites. And today, I just got it, and call, and it's card number 51. Actually, it's card number 55. And Tops just released on their website, 95 and 96. So you can see how far back they are, backed up. That's like 40 cards backed up. So let's get into it. I'll talk some numbers. I'll talk what's going on with Project 2020. And we'll take a peek at the card. I reviewed this card a while back. And I told everyone how much I loved it. And here's our first one. And there it is. Stunning, stunning card. George Brett, loving it, loving it. We're going to just open these up today. We got a 20-pack. So maybe we'll get lucky. You never, never know. It's the luck of the draw, baby. Let me move that up as close as possible. And then I'll put the back of the card on one of them. And we'll go from there. All right, that's one of 20. So what happened this week? You're not going to believe it. As this set has been gaining momentum and everybody's been talking about it. The highest number before the burst this week was 34,000. Just just almost hitting 35,000 with Ben Baller's Mike Trout's card. And um, people thought that was crazy. So, what happened this weekend? Keith Shaw's card of Ken Griffey Jr. relieved his rookie card. His, his take on the card with his cartoonish style. And his cards have been pretty hot. I don't I think maybe because his print runs were low and people are seeing the value in it. And um, this card almost hit, his card almost hit 100,000 cards. Craziness, 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 craziness. The final print on that card was... 99,177 on the um, on Keith Shaw's Ken Griffey Jr. card. And Nolan Ryan was also released at the same time as that by Joseph, jo Joshua Vides. And that card hit a whopping 64,629 cards printed. So that is just crazy. It topped all numbers and you were like, did the bubble finally burst? Because prices on eBay have been crazy. And where does it go from here? I don't know. Did it crash? Did that make a crash? Did flippers buy too many? But I think they're going to be a lot cheaper now. As you can prove with this George Brett card that I'm showing. Last week, this card right here was selling for about $1,000. $1,000. Craziness. So, before I started shooting this video, I said, let me search real quick uh, what they're going for now, of today, the day I got them in the mail, because now people are getting them. And today, you can get that same card, still high price. The lowest buy it now price on eBay for this card is $574. I mean, it's basically almost cut in half in just a week. But it exploded a week before. Now you can get it for a lot cheaper. So, is that the way it's going to start going from now on? I don't know. But I saw an auction on eBay for the first 10 cards in the set. First 10 cards were rough. Not many people were on board. I wasn't on board. I didn't get involved until probably card uh, in the teens. Somewhere in the teens. So I got a lot. I'm going to show off my collection. And I'm going to do my show my collection off in another video. And all my... You know, I kept one for myself on a lot of them. I'm mostly all of them, so I'll show off my collection in a future video. No G O L D as of yet. But um, as everyone seeing these prices going crazy on eBay, I guess everyone got on board, thought they were gonna make cash out on these. So anyway, I still think you know. I mean, you got to be careful with these now. They can't, you can't be going crazy buying them up like everyone's doing. Like, but I knew there was going to be a drop-off after that Griffey card. 
that was uh, card number 88 that produced 99,177. The next card, 89, it almost dropped off by half. The 89, but still high numbers, beat the Trouts. 89 produced 43,000 of uh, Koufax. And 90, Old Man Alan, or Old Man Allen, his card number 54 of Ted Williams produced 41,000. Crazy numbers. But it's art and it's, um, it's you're bringing all different types of people into the game. Sneaker people, art people, everyone's crazy about these. So I think, I think like the current ones that are released now, by Christmas time when this is over, I think their values will go back up. They gotta, in my opinion. Everyone's gonna be shopping at Christmas time. They're gonna be looking to fill in sets. It's only 20 different players. So I really feel that people are gonna be into this by especially the holiday time. And hopefully, you know, all this will be over. Hopefully, don't get a second wave of the you know what. And we're running out. We're down to our last three of a George Brett, my favorite, one of my favorite cards in this set so far. I rated it 9.5 in my review. And, um, man, imagine getting a gold. Gold, yeah, right? Yeah, right? Well, that's my take. Um, and after those two cards, 91 and 92, they went down a little. Mariano Rivera by JK5, card 91 produced. 35,330, so you can see the direction this is going. A lot of people buying them up. And 92, Cal Ripken by Don C. I think that's Don C's second card. Here's my last Project 2020 card of George Brett. The long-awaited card, card number 55. There are 40 cards in front of this. And there it is. No gold. Tyson Beck, great card. One of my favorites in the uh, set so far. Congratulations on a great card. And that's it. My take on the hobby. I think these are going to be keep their value. I, mean, I don't think they're going to be going crazy like the earlier cards. But come um, holiday season, I'm thinking the cards that are being released now will go for higher, definitely higher than what they're going for. So that's my take. Stay tuned for the next Tops Project 2020. We're going to get another mail. We got Mariano Rivera. Box of that Mariano Rivera. His card is coming. It's actually here today, but I figured this will be too long. I'll open those up. We'll take a peek at those next. But hope you enjoyed the George Brett card as much as I did. And Mr. Tyson Beck's take on it. All right. That's it. Everyone have a nice day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give it a like. Comment. Tell me what you think about the card. Share it with your friends, family members, innocent bystanders, anybody you know, and chefs because we are in the kitchen. And that's about it. Take it easy, folks.